populist voices, Liv Romano is notorious for having racist, anti-indigenous views and performative indigenous pro performative actions um, towards indigenous communities. Here is one prime example with evidence. So you'll see that Beverly Couch says, uh, just telling people to go vegan. And you will see my response. Let's run this clip back. So. So you see she's rambling on, Liv is rambling on, and she is bad at paying attention to her comment section. So let's pause it right here. I Here's what I say. I said, no, Beverly Couch, don't go vegan. Hunt and fish for your food. Hunt moose, deer, bison, and caribou. Fish for halibut, salmon, trout, and Dolly Barton. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you can see those comments rolling up. Liv keeps on rambling. I have the volume off to this point. And we're talking about the minimum wage. This is from October, guys. This is from October 22nd. Um, Jamie Woodruff. <clears throat> and I'm, we're, I'm talking with Jamie Woodruff about the minimum wage. Let's see what she's saying. And so then I put my correction into Beverly Couch. I say bison because I misspelled it earlier. You'll notice right there, right there, I misspelled bison. Now we're talking about oligarchs. <clears throat> okay. Goofy Jean makes a comment. By the way, Jean is just as racist as Libromano. She doesn't understand. She lives in Costa Rica too, so um not a big fan of Costa Rica. Too many vegans down there. Um I do like Cuba and I do like Nicaragua because they're socialist. And Venezuela as well. Alright. They're talking about the climate, the hunger strikers at the White House. I got the volume turned off because I'm narrating. And here's what I say, avoid agriculture. And I said, if you can go hunting and if you can go hunting and fishing and grow a garden. Mm-hmm. So, I might have to speed this up.
comments are taking hella long to roll in. And I said, I frequently use environmentally friendly resources. And I'm talking about meat, fur, leather, stuff like that, you know? Here's what Beverly Couch says. Beverly Couch says that vegan is a commitment to never exploit other species for taste buds or fashion or tasting. And she says that they do not believe. So she's promoting bullshit. She's promoting the bullshit racist vegan narrative um, and bullshit talking points from some Chichaco Gussock from Princeton. Clearly elitist, clearly racist, and clearly. Um, ableist mm -hmm. and I'm giving you a play by play so and here's what I said I said Beverly Couch we need to eat meat and wear fur to survive. If we can't hunt, fish, and trap, we can't survive the winter. You California people don't understand. <clears throat> so I put in a good rebuttal um, to what Beverly Couch says. So now Liv keeps rambling on. You know, she doesn't really, she kind of checks comments, but she doesn't keep on top of it. Oh, and by the way, yeah, no, I don't, okay, here we go, <clears throat> and I said we must defeat global climate change, I want to have resources available for future generations, hunting, fishing, and trapping are huge up here, we need to defeat climate change. So, you know, I'm the truth teller in the chat. Beverly Couch makes more racist talking points, um, comparing humans now to cavemen, again, blatantly racist. And then I said solidarity with indigenous communities who are gonna be infected, affected, gonna be most affected. I said I frequently buy and barter, buy, buy from and barter with indigenous communities. correct here Beverly Couch is just a racist so now I ask if it's on Instagram now she gets to that comment um so so here's what I say I say Beverly Couch people need to eat meat and wear fur to survive veganism is not good for health and that's true veganism is bullshit um, 
deer, moose, bison, and caribou, and salmon, dolly, bard, and halibut, and rainbow trout are the healthiest meats uh, out there. The best way to get your protein. Um, Liv keeps rambling on. I have the volume off so you don't have to hear her annoying voice. Um, she's louder than I am. That's rare. So I said make blue Friday, blue because of the Seattle Seahawks, proletariat Friday. Sula, Goofy Sula Moon is uh, covering, is having her comment read. Uh, Human Love and Solidarity is having their comment read. And then Jean puts in a comment. Okay. <clears throat> so Beverly, um, Beverly Couch makes some false talking points about veganism. Unsubstantiated claims. She's saying she, yeah, I don't believe that. Um, and then here's what I, here's my response. Beverly Couch, also studies show that vegan diets are unhealthy for indigenous people, including the Inupiaq, Gwich'in, and Yupik nations. So, here's what, let's go over to the main screen now. All right. Let me see. Because we are almost to that point. There we are. Adjust the volume. Yeah, so she's talking about Friday for Future. Let me just fast forward. Let's fast forward. So, yeah, so. I wonder, where did I miss? What comments did I miss before? Okay. Yeah, that's where we were. Yeah, with Beverly Couch making BS talking points. Okay, so you can hear Liv rambling on. So, yeah, this is where I say, this is where Beverly Couch makes bullshit talking points about veganism, claims that are unsubstantiated. And my response is that also studied Beverly Couch also studies show that vegan diets are unhealthy for indigenous people including in Yupiak, Gwich'in, and Yupik nations. Okay. So she addresses my comment. Okay. Especially um, because of like what we're seeing with the indigenous water protectors, uh, with you know. Um, so, Liv will. 
Liv will talk about water protectors all day, but she never mentions any indigenous hunters, fishermen, and trappers. And that's a key point that I'm gonna emphasize later in this video. Also, if we go back over to the comments, um, Beverly Couch says, do it for the environment, boss. So Beverly Couch makes more racist comments um, claiming to put animals above human beings. Okay, so. Okay. So how does she, how does she address? Wait, she just pushed her beliefs, tried to push her beliefs on me and made racist comments um, about indigenous people and anti-working class comments about working class people in Alaska and Washington. Um, that's not cool. I will say that, um, <clears throat> again... Also, burden of proof, notice how she doesn't cite any studies when claiming meat is bad for health. She scapegoats everything on agriculture when big soy is just as much of a culprit of pollution and to a certain extent hemp as well. And that is false. That is false. It is it has nothing to do with meat production and meat intake. Malthusian, this little Malthusian liberal, Liv Romano. Um, she is absolutely false, hundred percent false. So what are let's and and that's because if we go sub, foods of of Northwest Alaskan subsistence. The muskox, caribou, moose are hoofed game animals in this part of Alaska. They provide hardy meat and hides for the Alaskan people. The sea is also an important provider of food such as marine animals such as beluga whales, seals, walruses, um, saltwater fish, crabs, and other crustaceans are available for sustenance in season. Fowling, that means duck hunting, uh, egg picking, egg green picking, picking greens and berries are also very important to life on the tundra. One of the most essential food sources is salmon that are found in the freshwater streams in summertime. And most of the summertime, summer months are filled with catching, cutting, smoking, and drying the salmon for the rest of the year. Oh, you'll be lying, that's not true. Okay, so that's, unless, um, subsistence, subsistence food, let me see, let me see, let me see, subsistence foods, Alaska, oh, and also, if you live in Alaska, you have to be native to harvest the marine mammal, um, a gusak, like me, gusak means white man, gusak means, but it can be applied to anyone who is not native, um, Gusak, like me, we can only catch deer, moose, caribou, uh, doll sheep, and mountain goat, and salmon, and dolly varden, for, and halibut, and hooligan. We can only catch finfish and deer for food, and sea ducks as well, okay. 
So sea ducks and deer species and antelope species and sheep species. Um, so yeah, the only, the only thing from the ocean we can harvest is fin fish, basically. Um, and clams, but clams are overrated, let's be honest. Um, fish and game. Because, and also, let's, and then we'll explore... Go fishing game. Subsistence harvest of wild food by residents of Shuganak, Alaska. All right. Shuganak is an Inupiaq town. Okay. So, uh, mainly a lot of their subsistence food, according to Fishing Game, the largest harvest was caribou. 403 caribou was harvested and they harvest 49 different species so mainly caribou 403 caribou that's 54,864 edible pounds 36 percent of the total community harvest by weight humpback whitefish so they harvest whitefish 40,617 pounds of whitefish Chum salmon, 22,858 pounds. She fish, 11,111 pounds. Um, moose, 5,696 pounds. Okay. And then also if I Google veganism, racist to indigenous people, What will that say? Okay. Subsistence food, healthy. No. Let me see, where is the article I want? Oh, this is the one. So check the title, Indigenous People versus Militant Vegans. Okay, and this was written by an indigenous person. Their name is Aniunwia Ageya. Not sure what community she's a part of, but I know she is. So she is. She describes herself as a white-coated native woman, disabled artist, curmudgeon. So she is part indigenous, part Gusuk, and okay. So guess what? She went vegan for a bit. She she said she was vegetarian. She said, I have no, multiple autoimmune disorders. I was a vegetarian for 36 years and recently a spate of health issues traced to not being able to absorb, adequately absorb nutritional needs from pills, tablets, and supplements. So she had to quit veganism because of that or vegetarianism because of that. Okay. Um, she said, my hair was falling out. I lost most of my body hair. The most efficient way for me to get the vitamins, minerals, and amino acids would be from eating meat. I'm still having issues with it. The smell, the look, the taste, the texture. But when I was vegetarian, I still seldom berated others for their food choices, except when teasing friends who would tease me back. All right, so what does it say? Um. And then she talks about social media vegans. So here's why veganism is racist. Um, great article, by the way. You can look it up online. Um, she said so much of what we see is very racist, anti-indigenous. Let me, yeah. 
so is very racist, anti-indigenous. Even from other races, the few POC that are also vegan, including other indigenous people, we get threats often such as this. So there's someone on Twitter that was trying to, making anti-indigenous remarks, trying to send meat eaters to the gulag. Of course, as always, Twitter is fine with this, but if we do any, if we say anything in return, we get a cascade of vitriol and no amount of reporting does them anything. But if they report us, you know the drill, suspended, keep in mind Jack, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is Buddhist and vegan himself. See, I hate vegans. That's, that must be why Twitter keeps banning me. <laughs> um, and mail, let's not forget mail, as a lot of this harassment and abuse seems to be leveled at indigenous slash disabled women. Not always, but the large percentage. If you're, quote, slaughter our archaic traditions, post quote, you are talking about slaughtering entire cultures, our entire cultures, our entire peoples. You are saying we are no longer allowed to be indigenous or practice our indigenous ways. For a group who claims they have compassion for animals, they always seem to get humans are animals, anthropods themselves, and they have zero compassion for humans in any form not even others in their group.